All right, what's up, everyone? We are live. We are good to go. It is Wednesday, and we've had more announcements. I mean, it's announcement week. So we'll talk about those during the stream. But it is Wednesday, and we are playing Five Color Ramp Walkers. Yep. Out of principle, if we're playing a ramp deck, I'm going to put him down. At some point here or there, he will be coming to say hello. So I'm just waiting for the rest of the deck to show up, and then we'll be good to... There it is. Speak of the devil. Yes, please. So we have some spiciness in the board. Um, just trying a few new things. And we'll go over that here in a second. Confirm. All right. So, uh, the ramp package, as I like to call it nowadays, is just a tune and oath. Um, it's just basically making sure we hit our land drops. That's all. Advocate Tracker, really good. Bounty is another ramp piece. Uh, draws us an extra card and then uh, produces three mana. Uh, Cure is a ramper, so we are going to try her. See what she does. Um, she untaps creatures and lands. So we don't have many creatures, but we do have a lot of lands. So it seems fine. Uh, two Tamiyo, because why not? Uh, three Fumigate, because we need to control the board. And three Chandra, two Uvenwald Hydra, because yes, lands. Uh, two Sorens, three Rampy Nissas, because we like Nissa on six with a Sylvan Advocate. And then two of the Big Daddy himself, Ulamog, because I'm going to be determined to play him quicker than turn 10. Uh, in the board where I was talking about some of the spice. So the Nissas, I have them swap out to Vital because sometimes Vital is better than Rampy Nissa. Uh, we have the fourth Fumigate, uh, three Forsake the Whirlies in case we run into any enchantment stuff, uh, four Negates because Negate is good, and four As Foretold. So As Foretold, I figure, is going to swap in certain matchups for Bounty because if we notice we're having issues hitting, we could swap out in that matchup and then just sick an As Foretold on three. And yes, it's a little bit slower, but we can cast walkers without having to hit their mana. So that can help. Is it going to work? I have no idea. Will it be fun? You betcha. We played this friend yesterday. So let's get into it and we'll good luck have fun them and this looks just fine I probably get a blue Get our blue source. Not in love with this. We know he's on uh, the opponent's on mono black Zomberts. So Fumigate will come into play. Well, good news is we can cast Chandra. And we can cast Tamio to stall the game out a little bit. No attack. All right, so let's play that. Pass the turn. It's more just five color walkers. 
I don't know if we call it ramp. Oh, that's fine. So at this point, we want to find a fumigate. We're gonna sack Tamio out. Uh, we're fine with this. This is just gonna delay us a turn. So tap and tap. Basically, it just delays two turns. Um, so we can nuke the board with Chandra. So. Now it's kind of fine. Actually, that may have fogged us. All right, that's fine. All right, so everything's going to untap. Uh, we're not getting there fast enough. They don't know about the rest of our deck. We're fine with that. So, uh, Fumigate... They don't want to play against Bant. Okay. And that's fine. We're okay with that. That's what it looked like. All right. So um, this is fine again because we do have the oath this time. So we'll keep this. Don't need my headset tonight, so. All right, so our opponent keeps six, scrying, and keeps on top. So we're gonna canopy Vista. Personally, I would like a land here. All right, Advocate's fine. Uh, we just want to get a clock down. Something that can kind of clog up the ground a little bit. It's fine with us. We actually have a way to compete. So we're going to land that. Let's scry. Five color walkers. These are two we do not want right now. like to hit a green source. So this is Abzan? Abzan Snake? Alright. Uh, no attack gap tools because they have a 2-3. We have a 2-3. Eh? Um, let's see if we had an untapped source. All right, so we hit another Exodus about it. I'd rather have the Tamio at this point. Um, play a land, Scry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We'll keep both of those on top.
This is a silly deck when this happens. Well, we're going to be ramping out to a lot of things very quickly. Uh, that's a Woodland Wanderer. All right. That's a problem. That's officially a problem, which we are going to have to Nissa to fix. What's up, Apache? Or not Nissa, Tamio. So let's tick up. I'm going to still top and it's going to get shuffled away. It won't matter. So that's that. So we can attune. As I say, so we're fine with so far what they've done. Ballista X3 probably will shoot Tamio. I'm assuming. Or they just don't want to get trucked by um, Nissa. Because they are. Five fives. We need a few more lands. Yeah, we were going to talk about all that tonight. All right, so we can attune. Gets us a land. Uh, doesn't matter. We're going to go after the green source. Hi, dear. Uh, let's try zero, see what we get. Bounty's still on top. All right. So, next turn. I forget which how this one is at the beginning of your pre combat remove all flood counters no counters remove this way put a flood counter on so we draw first okay so we're drawn to all right that's fine so this is gonna drop but we can swords unless they're just going for the kill no, they're killing this, so I figured. All right, so we draw an extra card. All right. Yeah, so are we dead next turn? Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we need a body. I may have to move into the fog realm of this deck, but we'll find out. All right, so that may lead they have another unlicensed in hand. Or we have a walking ballista, which should finish us off. Oh. Uh, we have interaction. We have fumigate and stuff like that. It's just we haven't seen it. I may move up to four.
All right, so they get us. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, we got Fumigate. We got stuff like that. Um, I may move to a little bit more interaction, like Deccan Stones or, like, Fog. Um, Exynesis seems fine. We're going to move to the fourth Fumigate. And... That's about it. All right, cut a Kiora. Like I said, I'm fine with removing, removing most of my actual... Yep, as foretold, it's the splice part out of the board. Uh, if we need help casting things, we just bring in as foretold and just start casting walkers off it. So. I don't know. Like I said, first take... I think maybe we might move in. We have two Ulamog because we're a ramp deck. I've actually produced an insane amount of mana with this thing. So uh, this, though, we do not keep. We have no way to get our mana up. This, though. Yeah, I kind of like the Radiant Flames better, too. We will keep this. I may retool again. When we play it for the first time, I actually get to play it. I see where I want to put things and where things need to be fixed. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that and get... A Muten. Come on, Gab Tools, work with me here. All right, so let's do. Uh, that. Like I say, I'm working towards uh, the whole gist of the deck. Just haven't gotten there yet. You gotta play it a little bit to actually see where it is. And then I go, okay. All right, so let's blue, green, lock those down. Listen, first take, we brew it out, we fix it, we go from there. All right, so we got that. And... That and that. Sometimes it's about having a little fun and then figuring out where it's going to actually go to the sweet spot. Trust me, I threw Naya to Gods together last night and it actually did pretty well. I was actually very happy with it. Alright, so they cracked a clue. We, we're going to crack a clue. We 
What are they hitting? That's fine. Canopy Vista. Hi, Canopy Vistas. I mean, I'm thinking either Mana Dorks or we're going to go like the one ramp deck I did with, with Spring and uh gift so ooh all right well we can fumigate which feels much better here blow up the board and start playing Chandra on an empty board. Untethered Express. Interesting. Alright, well, we're going to have to deal with that in some way, shape, or form. So, we're actually going to uh, not Chandra this turn. Yeah, I mean, the Mana Dorks probably could be a definite way to go. I never thought of it in a Constrictor deck. So we drew a land. Uh, we can't trade with it. It's going to outrace our... Uh... Could go at Natural Connection. I think Spring's better just because we get the draw card. Because we get uh, its second half, which draws us into more stuff. So, if I'm going to do that, I may change up where I'm at and go into the spinorama of five color spring and fogs and stuff like that. Dump the Kioras. So that's going to be a seven. All right. So if I double, I kill it. And he can kill advocate 
or, but not both. Unless he's got blossoming defense, and then it's blowout. Let's do both. Yeah, we have eight. He has seven. So that's okay by us. Like, I'm okay with dirtling around with fogs in hand. That's fine. That just means we remove the creature package. So, I was just seeing what the creature package felt like versus not so much. Ooh. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doo. Do this. Yes. And we're going to take that and play that and take up. Hydra fuck kind of feels good in the deck. It's silly. Avison, really? Huh. All right. This is a different deck I'm used not used to seeing. But we do have a blocker for Avison, so. Our opponent lost connection. So as I'm thinking about it, so we remove the creature package. We remove the creature package, we remove Kiora, we put in some fogs, we put in some springs, and cut the attunes, go up some lands. So if we cut the attunes, go up to 24 lands. Bring in Spring, bring in Gift, that's eight cards. I'm cutting eight creatures, so I have two spots from Kiora, that's... And a spot from the Attune, so I have three for Fog? Only three for Fog? Huh. Renewal's weird. It's ramp and it's good, but it's not like... I don't know. Like, I have a love-hate with Renewal. Like, it seems like it's, like, awesome and great, and you're like, yay... I'm going to gain a bunch of life and put three lands onto the battlefield. But you're spending your whole turn six doing that. So sometimes it's not great. It's better I found to like spring. And then like have a fog in hand on turn five. I don't know. 
I say, uh, renewal can be very good. Sometimes not, though. So I, I'm down to trying it. Like I said, this deck is a build in progress. So I will say it's far from being done. And it looks like our opponent probably hard locked or something happened. Hopefully they did uh, die out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quit the game. Uh, there's no big deal here. We're going to go make some changes to the deck. The discuss changes. Um, so we're going to get rid of our creature package. Get rid of our tunes. And get rid of the Kioras. So let's put in four spring. And so we have our choice of doing like a Naga Vitalist on two. Or a Gift of Paradise on three. The problem is we want a spring on three as well. So it's a little, three's a little weird. But then you get your Naga Vitalist killed, and you're like, great. So it's weird. Or we could leave a tune in. Vitalist does ramp into Bounty. You have a point. So let's try Vitalist. All right, so we're going to Vitalist. We do need to put a few more lands in, because we can't go this ran land light. So I am going to put in um, another forest and another mountain. And probably another forest. So that leaves us three spots. Which... I think we bring in three hazes. Maybe cut a Nissa to go to the fourth haze. So that's some interaction. Cut an Ulamog. Go to one of them because they should be it. Yeah, I'm going to put Radiant Flames in the board. Maybe go back to that other Nissa, or do we go like. Because we do have a lot of white. Which means we can run. Encircling Fisher. So we'll want to run of Encircling Fisher. And then I think we take the As for Tolds out now. And we're going to go Sigarda and three Radiant Flames, which I have to pick up. Uh, just never ran it. Now here he is a good point, but I have other. I mean, technically we can cut the Hydra and go to Nahiri. One, two, three. Um, I was just trying to move in Wald Hydra because it was just, it seems like it's a really good card. So 
So. All right, so we just got to wait on a few pieces. Yeah, I like that much better. And we can cut a Nissa now. And go for Radiant Flames. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So now we're basically like ramp kind of fog. So we do have our vitalist. We have Hazen and Circling Fisher. So we have five fogs. We have Bounty. We have Spring. So the vitalist and the Springs are going to be our ramps on top of Bounty. We do have Uvenwald Hydra still. So I kept a few creatures. Uh, the reach is no joke at times. Uh, so we do have Soren, Chandra. Tamio and Nissa as our walkers we're going to ramp into. Um, and then we do have an Ulamog at the top end. And then the side, we do have our Forsakes, the other Fumigate. Negates and uh, Vital Force and Sigarda. Because Sigarda seems pretty okay in this matchup. In some matchups. So we should be getting our cards very shortly. It says stocking right now. And then we can always try Nahiri um, instead of the Hydra. Or Nahiri instead of Soren. Just Soren's one of those like kind of really impactful cards when they come down. On top of card draw for us. So. Yeah, so we spring. We have spring to mine, which is fine. Um, we may change up things. No, we added a few more. Okay. Not sure if I'm still in love with the hubs or not. I think we remove hub. I don't think I have any more glades to put in. So let's put a, a swamp. Another island. Another plains. Another mountain. This is where I'd probably put Lumbering Falls in. If I had them. Because like one lumber is completely fine. And it is a win con in itself. All right, there's our radiant flames. We sideboard. All right. Cataracts is the draw one, right? Or the draw two for six mana. Or am I thinking of the wrong one? Um, let's see what our hand does. I'm always interested. When I play these decks for the first time, I'm always interested to see what they can do uh, when you have a suboptimal draw. So let's see what it does
Oh, that's the... Okay. Um... I don't think that fits what we want because you're tapping five to get five. It'd be if we can come out ahead. Um... So we're going to Tamio a turn early. Tick up. So it's just one of those. Yeah, so that doesn't feel as good. All right, so that's a Chad. Oh, come on, duck. But we can tap young Chadsworth. So young Chadsworth can uh, look at us for a little bit. All right, so they're going to anguish on making our... Uh... That's fine. All right, well, we can Chandra and murder young Chad. Young Chad is down. One, two, three, we got six now. So seven, eight in hand. All we need is one of our ramp spells. And we'd have black mana. Alright, so they're going to act... Ooh, there it is. Score. Alright, so... Get the token swamp. Play the token swamp. And I can flash in Chandra. Or not Chandra, uh, Avison. Looks like that's what's happening. Maybe. Nope. Alright, we're going to sack a creature. So this is white black control we're playing against. Alright, I feel like we're in pretty good odds here. Because we have a Chandra down. Uh, we will have a Soren down soon with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana now. That feels kind of gross. Oh, they have a Soren too. Are you going to X Soren down to kill Chandra? 
You did. Jokes on you, I have a Soren. I have an Uvenwald Hydra. All right, so we're going to Soren. We're going to reveal. And we got Haze. All right, that's fine. Mana Guy's been doing some stuff. Now they're swinging at Soren. So we're actually going to haze here. I think. Do we care? I don't think we care. And then we're just going to cycle haze. Alright, let's cycle it. Hi, Fumigate. Oh, we got a bounty. Alright, um... Alright, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can do both. All right, so let's do just that. All right, let's bounty. Make this a 10-10 Uvenwald Hydra. Uh, let's get, a Cinderglad. Yeah, I mean, Vitalist did get Tamiyo out, and now the Vitalist just enabled us to cast Bounty and Uvenwald Hydra at the same turn, so, I mean, that's not horrible. All right, so they're going to fumigate us, which is fine. So we draw an extra card. Uh, we do have a spring and a mind in or in hand and yard, so let's take up. Play the land. Thin out the deck. I'll get another white source. And uh, on their turn, we're just going to mine and draw some cards. Right, at this point, if we hit Big Bad Ulamog, uh, let's see what we get. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we got a haze. I'm sure they're going after Soren and not Bounty, yeah. Bounty's just this, you know, innocent looking thing. It's a Chadsworth. All right, so let's play the land. Let's see what we got. That works. Um, I 
blue, green. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Minus, uh, we'll go blue and a white. One at Chad, one at our opponent. Yeah, that was a really big Nissa. Now we do have Haze online. And we can spring next turn easily. So we're kind of rampant now. This is a kind of a thing. All right, so we got Shambles. Yep, uh huh, uh huh. We're going to haze. So nothing will happen to Nessa. All right, so we're going to play a land. Let's bring. Let's mind, excuse me. Um, let's oath. Doesn't matter. Now yeah, we'll take the vitalist. Scry up. Bottom. Top. Play that. I mean, we could totally add one pull from tomorrow. I mean, we're kind of generating a massive ton of mana, and we've dug through a lot of our deck. I mean, we're... Three, five, fifteen cards ahead? Are we going to X, X Soren down again? What are the chances I've got it? Chances are pretty high. All right, so we can kill. Um, Yeah, tick up, tick up. Let's scry. Uh, bottom and bottom. Murder Soren. We draw the land. Let 
Let's fumigate. Alright, so as of right now, they can't kill either of our walkers. Alright, here comes Vent. See where Vent wants to get pointed at. Holy God, bunch of lands. All right, let's scry. Uh, bottom, bottom, tick up. That's fine. I think we played most of our lands. We should have nothing but gas left in this deck. All right, Soren helps. All right, so let's tick up. Uh, we want both. So we're going to top and then top. And we're going to tick up. No legal targets. White. All right, let's Soren. Let's go top, have our opponent take six. Do that. Pump up. Uh, I'll count in a second here. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We have twenty four, so six lands. Who are you killing off? Because... Alright, so both at Chandra. Alright, well, Chandra takes it. Ultimate Tamio. Take up Soren. Take up. Take up. Top, top. Yeah, I should have. I uh, used Tambio's emblem. Boop, boop. And we win. That felt kind of fun. Uh, so I think negate's really good in this matchup. I think we can remove the hazes. Um, I think forsake is actually fine. And we're going to remove the fumigates.
plus Chandra before Tamio plus. Okay, that, yeah, I could Tra Travis. That makes sense. And Travis Travisinski Travisinski. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the track, everyone. Welcome, Travis, to the stream. Number one on the night. Sorry. Didn't catch it. Oh, it just came up. So. All right, let's see. I mean, this, if we had a green source, would be fantastic. But we do not. So we're going to have to mulligan. Uh, mulligan again. All right, we'll keep this. We'll put Forsake on top. Sorry, I butcher names. That's what we do here. Uh, we'll do that. All right, let's Vitalis. That feels fine. So I wonder if they bring in rem what are you I'm trying to figure out what they bring in. All right, so they're going to deck in stone giving me a clue. All right, well, Chatamog always shows up way too early to the party. Uh, they're fine with losing life and drawing cards. Because I'll do the same thing. I'll draw a card. Play a land. Let's Oath. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Like, never, maybe. Um... Yeah. If we draw a land, I mean, we may f cycle Forsake at the end of turn. If they don't try to stick like Chad. Yep. So they didn't. So let's cycle. All right. So we drew a land, drew another land. All right, but we only have, well, it doesn't matter, blue sources. All right. So let's throw the white source out. Let's Chandra. Or let's not Chandra, I mean, let's Nissa for X equals one. Let's scry. Um, top, top. We're actually fine because we have the negate up. So if they try to land a Sorn, we'll negate it. Uh, so they're just going to go straight Shamble Beats. Uh, this is fine. And that just tells me that we have a weaker hand.
Um, but instead of zeroing, I'm going to tick up. And we're going to top and top. And we're going to do that. Let's take up Tamio. Yet again, we're holding up uh, negate because negate is good to hold. Kind of like how we built this now. Minus Chatamog showing up too early, but you know. Soren. Quarantine field. Yeah, no, that's worth the negate. Alright, so we got six mana. So we're going to tick up. We know what we're going to draw at this point. So we're actually going to draw both of those. All right. So we're going to do that. Both of those. We're two turns away from Chattamog. All right, so we're drawing the bounty, but not the land. Oh, we drew the land. All right, sweet, so we'll play the land. So next turn we're drawing bounty. And they left pushing, which is weird. Yeah, we're two turns away from Ulamogging. Uh, so first things first, let's scry. And we're going to bottom, and I want to top that. Because I can't do both. So we're going to tick that up. Tick up Tamio. Oh no, I definitely know that plus the Chandra before Tamio. I was just ultimating Tamio that turn. I think the turn you're saying. Unless I missed a sequencing. Alright, so we're gonna get one of them. All right, so we're going to bounty first. And then spring. Get a mountain. So they need to fire up shambles and hit Tamio here. Otherwise, I ultimate Tamio. So, I mean, that's just plain and simple. What has to happen here? Uh, they don't notice the Tamio alt happening. Okay. I win. Play a land. Alt Tamio. Cast Tamio. And how trolley can we get here?
tick up. Bottom. Top. I mean, is it bad I'm kind of playing with my food right now? All right, we got our Sorn. Got our Cinder. Sorn. Tick up. Cast for free. Hit two lands. Um, cast for free. Get a land. I mean, I, I don't know where we go from here with this. Uh, they could have exiled Ulamog. Okay. They're still dying to Tracker. Uh, Tamio Well, I mean If they're going to troll, I'm going to Troll I, I'm I'm fine with that. So let's see what our two card draw was. Oath and Chandra. Yeah, negative nine thousand. So uh all right, so I think the deck's playing a little bit better. Um, by a little bit, I mean, we actually have won the last two games we played. I mean, I didn't want to be that guy, Apache. I mean, I was already being that guy, but I didn't want to be that guy. Um, we're fine with this, actually. Um... Let's oath. Um, so we do have six mana. I'm going to take the Soren. I, I completely... Yep. All right, so we're going to do that. Um, we're going to re-oath. Take the mountain. So 
So spring, we are going to get a blue source here. Probably playing against blue-black control. Score. Maybe I vital this next turn? Does it... All right, West Vale, that'd be interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still don't know what my opponent's doing. They're just playing lands. Um... I think we bounty. Let's see if they have something. They do have negates. All right. That's fine. Our opponent is missing land drops. Uh, the best thing we can do here is do that. And then cycle haze. So it's blue black control with Westvale. Interesting. So they topped both, drew both, played an island. So one of them had to be a land. I actually like our matchup against blue-black control here. All right, we're going to bounty again. Um... See if we can draw out another counter spell. Basically, we want them to make make them forget we have Soren. Or get them to tap down for some strange reason. So we got Gear Hulk mana now. Spring. Blue source. Spring. Uh, got greens. We got, let's get a white source. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's Gear Hulk. So they bottom both, draw drew two unknowns. So I think we're going to try to encircling Fisher and then spring. Boop. Now let me draw. Totally let you tap down for this. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're missing a land drop, but we did get a fumigate, so. And an oath. So 10. There's another Gear Hulk. That's fine. Just tapped on that one, though. No. Alright, so not in love with my tapping here. Alright, we'll go to 11. Soren. Got another one in hand? They do. All right, so oh, there was a fumigate. All right, so we can Nissa. Basically, I'm hoping they take the bait and hit Nyssa. So we buried one Fumigate. Uh, Vitalist, Vitalist is not going to do what we want it to do. Because Soren, we're going to have to X6 to murder one. We do gain six off that, though. Yeah, I mean, it's just the luck of the draw. It happens. All right, so I took the bait, took the Nyssa. All right, so... All right, Liliana, I'm fine with for right now. So we took the land. All right, so. Let's lead off with Bounty. It lands. Chances they have a counter spell. They got sensor. All right. Yeah, we were getting somewhere. All right. Well, good news is uh, fumigate bad. Sigarda probably will be good in this matchup. And this is where vital force comes in. And this Nissa comes out. Now we're going to bring Forsake in. And take out all the haze and the encircling fissure. 
and go from there. Because I'm going to exile those suckers. Alright, this is fine. I'd love a Vitalist in hand just so we can ramp out a turn three. Bounty, but it looks like it's going to be a turn four. That's kind of weird. I literally play like zero creatures. All right, but we can start thinning the deck a bit. Um, we want the red source. We have the other blue source in hand. We want the red source. This may be our worst matchup. I don't think it's, like, unwinnable. I think it's just we have to hit the right set of cards. Right, we're just playing around sensor. There goes one. They have a felded pools in hand, so they have three unknowns. All right, how much land do I have? All right, we're gonna play uh, the land go game here for a turn. Topped and bottomed. Alright, so we play that. They need two counter spells. They have two, we're done. I wonder. So it's on cast. Alright, so she get into the damage. I mean, they've got to have other spells. They just don't have lands. Yeah, here it comes. I had a good gut feeling they we had a spell in hand here. And we got rid of everything to get rid of that. But we can spring. See what we draw into. Maybe we move into some number of cast outs. That's fine, you negate. All 
All right, Bonnie lands. We got two turns. I'm super excited for the unsets. Um, they're fun to draft. And they're completely silly. So, it's basically for the people that don't take magic seriously. Or just want something to kick your feet up and draft with a bunch of friends. Yep. Great. That's fine. The onset seems really cool. Um, going back to Dominaria, I'm hoping it's just not one large set. I'm hoping it's like a year of bouncing around Dominaria. Yeah, we'll keep this. Oh man, I hit the wrong button. Boo. I'm really bad at this at times. That's the first time on Moto I've done that in a while. Hey, we have had another land, so we're still going to luck out because we drew a land. But, whatever. All right. That's a thing. All right, let's spring. Um, it doesn't really matter. We got that. So we'll do that. All right, gifted Aetherborn. All right. I, we're in actually okay shape here. Yep. Nothing we can do there. So a lot of very cool announcements this week so far. Uh, the 25th Anniversary Masters will feel pretty cool, I'm hoping. Um, boop -a -doop -a -doo 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 -doo. We're going to go with three, which means it'll be five. And we'll not die, so we're just looking for something to do. Sure. Uh, top and top. I guess we're Chandering next turn. And nuking the board. So I'm completely fine with this. Now we can z zero Nissa. I'm super excited for a lot of the announcements. I mean, I'm hoping for good things. Let's go with that. All right, so we're going to play a land. We are going to Chandra. I 
X3 the board. Zero. Play the land. That we set up. I don't think anything has haste, and we're in pretty good shape with a haze and a Soren. So Soren can control things pretty easily. So I'm actually not feeling bad here. Alright, second gift to Aetherborn. Sweet. If we draw a land, we'll Soren. Okay, so we're going to Vitalist. Take up. Um, we're going to take both. Take up. Swing with the angry little elementals. All right, so we'll fog here. Then that's fine. Another glint sleeve. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Going to the washer. Let's fog. Our opponent doesn't want to play anymore. They disconnected from the server. Oh, the fog salt. Why is it fog brings out the saltiest? Um, I'm going to be a horrible person and keep this. See what it does. We got three oaths of Nyssa. Land, land, land. That's what I mean. I'd rather play against Fog than counters. God, it's not like I play Fog decks. Alright, so let's... Oath. Uh, we'll take the Vitalist. We're going to miss a land drop. But we're not out of it by far. Not sure the hazes are going to do much good here. Ooh, this might be spirits. Okay, so hazes may be actually really good against this. This deck has jokes. 
I'll keep that one. Forest. Oath. Uh, mountain. So we can vitalist next turn. It's hoping to find a blue source. So I got a red. Let's vitalist. Yep, they're gonna color it. Now well, they've used up all their energy. Now they got the white source, so. Like I say, this is actually not a bad matchup for us. All right, so we're going to do that. All right, we're at... So we're taking four, seven. All right, we'll take seven. Ooh, the double fumigate draw. That may help us here. <gasps> they didn't sack it? Okay. Did we forget that we could sack Selfless Spirit? I guess play it and hope. Draw a land, we have Uvenwald Hydra. Alright, so we drew the land. Alright, let's Hydra. Hell Hydra. Uh, yep. You got it. All right, so we're going to take a blue. So we can bounty, because bounty will be really good for us. And now we have any flyers they have locked down. I mean, I thought they'd we'd fumigate. They'd sack selfless spirit. We'd take six. And then we'd have to fumigate on the back of that again. And hoping they didn't have another selfless spirit. I 
mean, that, that was my thought process. Um, so I think this turn we bounty. Yeah, I mean, it, it just shows sometimes, I mean, even people do miss it. So, all right, so they're going to deck and stone, give us a clue. That's fine. We may fumigate here. Because they only got four mana up. That's Soren. That's an Oath of Nyssa. That's a land. All right. So I think we fumigate. And then we Oath. Third Oath. Take the Chandra. So we're going to get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if we draw a land, we can do Chandra and Soren. All right, so we drew a land. Soren. Tick up. I'm going to totally take Hydra here. Um, it's a 10 10 blocker. Um, All right, tis a queller, is a Thraven Inspector. All right, so we're not seeing Fumeral this turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. So it won't matter. Boop. up vitalist because we need more mana this has been a silly deck and by silly I mean when it when we're kicking on cylinders here this is uh Pretty all right. I 
that's fine. Bruna. All right. Bruno's going to get back Thalia. Sure. Alright, so we got a bunch of mana. Nuke the board. Tick up. Bounty. Another Chandra. I've never alted Soren. I don't even know is the alt good. So there, Hydra felt really good. I think Radiant Flames is, um, is Radiant Flames or Haze better? Yeah, I guess 10 one ones of lifelink seems kind of good. I'm just debating take out Vitalist and bring in Negates. How controlly does Spirits get? I think we take blue greenness out and bring in Vital though. Let's try it like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. How good is Soren Alt? They've showed us decks, so I mean... I mean, we'll keep this. We dirtle around for a while. And so far, we've alted Tamiyo a few times tonight. Our opponents seem to ignore the, you know, play anything out of our hand for free deal. Honestly, the biggest piece for us is the bounty in this matchup.
Are they gonna reveal? No reveal. All right. I mean, I'm fine with land go. Completely fine with it. I wonder if sensors there's sensor. I just wonder if sensors in the seventy five or not. That's a gazella. I think we take this time land bounty. Next turn we can Tamio. Alright, so we're drawing an extra card here. That's a Hydra. Nothing. Fumigate one a bit bad. Yeah, we'll take four. Basically, I'm thinking about. All right, so we have. A lot of mana. We have six, seven, eight, nine. You need ten for that. All right, so they bring Void Shatter in. All right. I'm fine with them doing the Void Shatter now. See, I didn't know how controlly this got. I did not know how good, you know. All right, well, that's fine. Another bounty. And a spring. Can I do... Can't do both. So they're full convertive? All right. Interesting. Because, I mean, we saw the spirit shell to start with.
right, so Fumigate would be good. Because I feel like they would have played a Counterspell out of hand if they had it. So we got a Whirler. Fuming it would be fantastic here. All right. So what do we do? We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could do both. Um. I say we do actually let's cancel cancel uh, I want to cancel I want to play that And do that. See if we have the negate. We're thinking about it. So if we X3, murder everything but Gear Hulk. Tap down. That's it. Technically, they could fire up a Wandering and kill one of them, but they have to spend their whole turn doing that and nothing else. So I'm okay with that. And we did wipe most of the board. Yeah, we're playing around sensor pretty well. So, good news is we can, I mean, any of our walkers are really live. I mean, Soren kills Gear Hulk. Always watching. That's a stretch. All right, so we have a Vitalist. We have two Vitalist. So let's play. Yeah, that's a Queller. Three, four, the Vigilance. Alright, so we're going to want that, and that, make some dudes, I think we tap everyone down again. And hope for a fumigate. Or 
or an Ulamog would fix this problem very easily. At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen mana. Thirteen mana. So depending on what we draw, we may discard. All right, so Harness is up. So they can fire up the Fumeral and kill Chandra. I think that's what they're doing. Yep. There's Fumeral. Chandra down. Alright, so we're not dead yet. Oh, well, I think we are. Wait, that's 5, 11. Yeah. Alright, so we're dead. What was our draw to? Oh, we would have gotten another draw. Two, and it was lands. All right. So now we kind of know what they're doing. All right. I feel like Vitalis is bad. So it's getting eaten, eaten and I'd rather have the negates. But I'm also kind of in the middle of like, I want Forsake, but we don't know how many they actually run in this deck. So I think the negate is better. Yeah, we're a little slower, but uh, we'll keep. Hopefully draw some runner runner lands here. I think we gotta change the land base up a little bit. I want botanical sanctums, I think. Instead of spire bluffs. Alright, no reveal. Alright, well, there's a spire bluff that helps this time. Siege Inspector. So we may cycle the haze just to draw into that land. Just saying that may be the better way to do things here. Because four, land number four is huge for us on this deck. Yeah, let's cycle. All right, so we cycle. Hopefully draw land. Oath of Ness is going to be a land, so hopefully. So let's Oath. Still have Bounty up, which is good. Uh, we still have a few Bounties. Uh, we'll take the Canopy Vista here. Play a land. And at this point, we're just going to pass turn. And we're in no big rush, and we do have the negate and the fumigate. Like, they're not threatening us at all. So if we can, uh, we're going to just start trying to throw bounties out there. And just let them counter them. They say they can't have a ton of counter spell. A 
that's a harvester. All right. A little annoying, not a lot. All right, so we drew a land. So sensor is not going to hit us here. So we're going to take three. And we have to Ultamio tick down next turn. I mean, that's they have Avacyn mana. But they can play an Avacyn. Uh, that's going to be pretty disgusting. All right, so we have Negate, Negate. Um, I think this turn... We Tamio. All right, so they have a negate. So we have five, eight mana. Now oh, we have plenty of turns here. That's kind of the thought, because right, they just main phased a glimmer, so we're not going to get hit with anything major. They topped and bottomed. So we got five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. So we can do that. You know what I'm going to do here? I hate doing it, but we're going to fumigate on the inspector. It feels really bad. But it's going to make them play a card. Because now they got a crew. And see, that's what we wanted. All right, so they chatted. So we're going to eat Chad. So if we eat Shed and Aether Sphere, so we have to live this turn. Uh, we're gonna play. Soren. Minus four on Chad. And now we can Ulamog next turn. Because now they'll kill Soren. Yeah. Oh, we get a gear hulk for our worries. Okay. So we're going to get six. So we can actually spring and Ulamog this turn.
Um, top, top. So they drew. But I may hold up negate if they try to do anything with Chad. Or Chadamog, shall we say. Alright, so we'll take three. Exile, exile. So we're going to hold up negate. Um, I think that's the better plan. See, that's why we held up negate. So they have the Void Shatter. Chetamog did his job. He got eaten. But we uh, we are in a very good driver's seat at this point. Yep. Take two. All right, so we're going to draw two. All right, we're going to play a land. Um, we are going to Soren. Murder that. Go to 10. We have another negate up. I mean, they have Bruna mana at this point. Alright, so they need another Void Shatter, Negate. They need a Counterspell. Alright, so they have Sensor. That's fine. Chad lives. So we have a buttload of mana coming. So let's get a land. Make it a blue. Flash it back. Mind it. That's a Chandra flame color. Tick up. That's going to be a massive Ubu and Wild Hydra. All 
right, so here comes Chad. Chad's angry. Right, let's haze. So they're looking. Bottomed both, so they didn't find Counterspell there. Uh, that's kind of annoying. All right. We have another fog. No, we have a bounty. All right, so Soren down. Chandra alive. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we Chandra nuke. Desi Red Shoes, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spark. Everyone, welcome Desi Red Shoes. All right. We're going to do that. And we're going to tick down. And murder. We will cast it. Just because. Oh, no problem, Desi. Welcome. We are playing some five color foggy ramp it's turned into. All right, so we got double negate for any shenaniganry. All right, so we're fine with Gisela. Chad's going to tick up and kill Chandra. Next turn, we can... Basically do everything we want to do. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess they're going to... Hit us and not... All right, so we just generated a ton of mana. So, sh how do we want to do this then? I think we're going to because I can't block both. So I think we're going to tick up. And then we're going to fumigate. Yep. Now we're going to fumigate. Gain three life. So that puts us to five. That's fine. They can harness. All right. So that puts us to four. All right. And then we are going to bounty. And then Hydra.
and get a land for turn. Uh, no. That's a negative, buddy. Right, we'll get that. Play that. All right, so I don't think they have any hasters. So Gideon is no attacking. Unless they have a board wipe, which we have not seen. And they have to draw a deck and stone then. So we have Gideon covered. All right, so Gideon's not attacking at this point. And now we got Gisela. All right, so we have options. Um, we have lots of options here. Um... So let's do this. Let's see what we find. Let's oath. Uh, we'll take the other Hydra. All right. So let's tick up. Do that. That's fine. You queller that. Get another blue source. Uh, Gideon, Gideon. So Gideon won't be able to ultimate unless they throw things in the way. And the Gisela, I figured, would be thrown in the way. Alright, so Gideon's going to go down to three then. I think we're actually in an okay spot here. All right, so Gideon's become a 5-5. Five five. So I think they're thinking we're, they're just going to overrun us. Like, they're going to turn everyone sideways. And we're going to do this. And they need two counter spells. Boop. It's not my white one. If it was my white one, it would be a total blowout. All right, well, this just got a thousand times better. All right. So... We're going to fumigate. Blow everything up. OK. 
cast that. Tick up. Still haven't touched our actual mana yet. Uh, which one is the active one? Got it. Boop, boop. Gideon, Gideon, player. Gideon, Gideon, player, player. I know, I know. Yield, yield, yield. The problem is our opponent should be conceding. I mean, I, I hate saying it like that, but... Yeah. That's... Yep. That's a win on our part. I consider that very much a win. So. I am going to uh, show you guys what we got. And then I'm going to upload the better version of this deck. So we are going to export this deck out. So let's export it. Go like that. Go like this. And we're going to update it. We're going to edit it. So other than that, guys, let's go over what we did and did not do. So uh, we originally had a creature package in here, and it was so-so. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't doing what we wanted to do. Uh, we kind of wanted to, like, ramp out into, like, really cool things. Um, so we've done some gutting here. I think we're going to have to – I'm going to change – some cards here on um, my other mana base but other than that uh we added naga vitalist not too great not too bad it wasn't it was like the in-between card uh bounty when bounty was online felt fantastic uh so we we're fumigating uval and hydros actually was a really solid add to this deck um i was very very happy and uh yeah, it just felt really good. Um, Nissa Steward of Elements in the main deck was fine because we could then X we X nine at one point. I think we did a Nissa. That felt fine. So deal ten damage to an opponent was really good. Uh, Spring is a great uh, card for us. So really happy. Oh, it was X ten. Sorry. Um, spring is really good for us because it gives us early ramp and then late game draw. And that's sometimes all we really need. Uh, Tamiel is just solid in general. We altered her twice in one match. Uh, yeah, that was a silly match, which we very much won. Uh, and then Chandra just proved Chandra Flamecaller. Still a very good card. And Soren actually was third, probably second on the list for impact again. Um, Tamiyo was good when we needed it. The Haze and the Encircling Fisher were great um, for us early. So in the board, we have four Radiant Flames for more 
Uh, the aggro matchups that we do worry about. Uh, Nissa Vital Force and Nissa uh, Stewart, we basically swap in and out. So in some matchups, Vital Force is a lot better if they're killing our walkers or countering our walkers. You land a Vital Force, X3 it, get back a walker or something that we really want, and start playing those out and rinse and repeat. Sigarda, just really good against hand disruption and all that. Uh, negates so we can fight the good fight. And Forsake, um, feels fine. And then the fourth Fumigate. So, I do I think the board needs a little bit of love? Sure. But not a lot. I think, all in all, the deck proved itself pretty well. And I would give it a thumbs up and say, you should, if you want to play a fun, really fun deck at FNM, and just dirtle around and do nothing for a while, go for it. If you have the cards... I don't think the deck is that bad, and the Ulamog is not even needed. Um, I just put him in there because we are, we need to ramp to something. Um, but you can put another Walker in his place, another Axnissa, and I don't think it would be a travesty. So other than that, thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you again. Uh, thank you for all our new followers. Uh, awesome. Thank you for chatting it up. We'll be back tomorrow night. Uh, Brian will be joining us. And I can tell you we have another ramp deck. This was submitted by a user. They saw it. It's been popping around. I know Seth played it last week, I think it is. Um, and they want to see us play the Teamer Ramp. Teamer Graveyard Ramp Shell, I think it is. And see how it really is. So we're going to play it. I may make a few changes to it um, and ramp into a Ulamog because it seems last time I saw it, it was make, making a complete obscene amount of mana. So we'll be playing that with Brian tomorrow night. Um, as always, if you like what you heard, hit that follow button. Let us know what you guys like, let you don't like. Start a conversation. Say hello in chat. We always have friendly chatters in there. Um, if you're in on YouTube, hit that sub button. Say hello. Leave me a comment like the video, whatever you might do. Or if you don't like it and you want to see something change, let us know as well. We will not hate you for it. We're here to improve. We're here to brew. And we're here to make some really fun decks. And, of course, maybe make some competition-style decks. You'll see it soon enough from us. As always, we have our Monday Mondays uh, live stream. And live will be probably paper standard this week with the new cards, if we get enough. So as always, everyone, thank you for coming out, and we'll see you tomorrow night.